to Nancy's place, and today we have a very special guest with us. His name is Ron Sluga. We'll be doing a little bit of interview and playing his tunes, so stay tuned. You are listening to Nancy's Place on WERE 1300 AM Cleveland and also on WALN 92.1 FM in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Well, hello, folks. This is Nancy Ladd from Nancy's Place. And in our studios today, we have Ron Slugo. Welcome, Ron. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks it's great for- to be here. I'll tell you, Nancy. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I know we uh, started our show off today with Ron Sluga with one of your tunes off of your Something Special release. Well, you know, uh, the uh, Hot Tamale is a uh, original tune that uh, that I wrote uh, along with uh, Bobby Cravis and my wife uh, Patty wrote the words. So it was a, that was a good that was a great start. <laughs> That's right. I always I always like listening to you. I've uh, known you for quite some time, and uh, I always like watching you entertain. Um, you actually had recorded with me on a couple of albums, and we'll get to that later. But yeah. uh, what what do you want to tell us about something special before we uh, move on? We're going to talk a little bit about the album, and that's your brand new album, right? It definitely is my my only one. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the, actually, this is my sixtieth project. And this 60th project is just the only one that I paid for, okay? So <laughs> that's why it's something special, really. There you go. 
and uh, it's it's. Uh, I wanted to do do this album because uh, of all the uh, the band leaders I had played through the years. I wanted to have memories of of my my years along with uh, with all the players that I pl played played with and. Uh, Instead of the uh, the band leaders being the leaders, they were, they were the side man. So that that was kind of nice too. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's nice to turn the tables every once in a yeah, while. I, I could I could bury them anytime I wanted to on the, on the <laughs> albums. <laughs> I bet you that worked out pretty well. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start playing? When did I start playing? Yeah, At the age of three. And was the uh, banjo uh, really, the only thing really, you played? Really? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> I did start taking lessons when I was three, but uh, uh, for we formed the band my brother and i and a drummer we were we were in fact uh we were playing bars when uh before i was the age where i could be, be in the bars so i had to be so many feet away of course but uh, around 13 13 years years old we had a a four a four a, a four piece band and uh we had a lot of jobs <laughs> well that was, that's good yeah and i haven't stopped since you haven't stopped since no, you've I been haven't. straight through all of your life all my life all those few years. And I won't tell you how many, but it's... Oh, it's, it's too it's, little to mention, though, yeah. right? Yeah. What are we going to play next? Uh, we're going to do uh, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. And, of course, uh, this is kind of in remembrance of uh, Kenny Bass Band. And uh, I was very fortunate to get uh, Dick, Dick Soja to play the accordion and Dick Fleshman to do the saxophone. And, of course, we, we, we uh, played many jobs in the 50s and 60s together. And uh, so we, we had a great time great time recording this and uh and i thought maybe uh maybe uh, dick soja would have to learn the, the words because he said he sang with us he says no i still i still know him he said <laughs> <laughs> here we go blue eyes crying in the rain
we're back with Ron Sluga, and this is Nancy's Place, and we wanted to ask you a couple questions. Now, they're going to be real easy questions, but I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Go Are you on. Ready? Sure, I'm ready. Go All on. All right. What were your influences when you started playing the banjo? Is that the first instrument you played? Is, well, did you want to play any others? The Well, you know, what started everything, It's uh, if anybody would have my CD, kind of explains to it, <laughs> I read it in my, in my book, I broke my, my wrist and when I was three, and that was the and that was the reason why I started playing, to strengthen up my wrist. And I I was too small to play anything big, so I played a mandolin, and uh, and that's how I got the the trembling on, on the mandolin, then then a tenor tenor b- banjo because it's that's the next size up, and then then I, I had to get with the big boys like uh, uh, Georgia Cook and Eddie uh, uh, Teener and. Uh, Eddie Peabody and Frankie Badnell, they all played uh, the plectrum b- banjo. And plectrum uh, is a longer neck. And uh, I, I just listened to those guys all the time. I studied them, and, and I came up with my, with, with my own uh, style. When did you first start playing with a regular polka band, if you will? Oh, at the age of 13. My brother 13. and I okay. and, and, a, and a drummer, and I, I can't think... Uh, being that I was a second second child, I got to play the banjo. The first child always plays the accordion, you know. So, I, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, that's why I play button box. That must be true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, and and we we played every weekend, you know, and uh, it was fun, and uh, I'm still having fun. We're gonna play a tune here by Kenny Bass, but before we do, when did you start playing with Kenny? Kenny, I was still in high school. We were on. I was on TV with, with Kenny, and and I was a senior at the time. Uh, and it was kind of nice, you know, have, being on TV and going to school yet. And uh, um, I, I had a following. <laughs> you had a following. And, huh? of course, I was 17, and uh, and uh, I felt, gee, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm in heaven. <laughs> did you ever miss any school? No, I, ne- I never did that. Did you go right from a job to school? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that from Dick Soja. <laughs> we mentioned Many him times, earlier. yeah. Well, let's give a listen to Hey There, Babe. This is Kenny Bass. are now on the internet. That's right, the happiest music on the planet is now worldwide. You can find Nancy's Place at www.polkas.com. Or for more information, write to Nancy's Place, P.O. Box 43313, Cleveland, Ohio, 44143. Don't forget, that's Polkas on the internet, www.polkas.com. And 
And we're back, and we just heard a Kenny Bass tune, one called Hey There Babe, and that's one of my favorites. I always, You always hear a lot of bands play that. Why is that, Ronnie? What do you think? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an easy tune to sing. That's why. Oh, well, maybe and it's, that's it. it's it's zips and it's a lot of power there, so it's fun. <laughs> well, let me ask you another question here. Um, when you played with Kenny Bass, who was the next band that you played with? Um, in fact, we're going to be t- talking about about Frank Yankovic. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm I'm not sure what what number we're going to you know just just pick, pick any tune. It doesn't make any <laughs> difference. Uh, when I uh, I was still. Uh, I was 19 at the time. I didn't know what I was going to be doing in my life, and and Frank Yankovic calls me up and he says, "You want to go on the road?" I says, "Yeah." So. Uh, Do you know how he found you? Oh yeah, where where everybody was found at Gorshi's Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> everybody played there on Saturday nights, and you show your wares, and you're you know if if, if they like you, they they. They get you out of the out of the basement, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> really, so it was fun. I I enjoyed my my two years with uh, with Frank Frank Yankovic. We did a lot of uh, traveling. Uh, we had a uh, uh, a TV show every Wednesday in, in Chicago, WGN, and it was an hour and a half show. And and every week we had to be there. So if we were on the West Coast, or wherever, we had to fly back in. And uh, I was the only member of the band that that played with them uh, because the union wouldn't allow anybody else and he says I gotta have my 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 vocalist so that, that was that's how I snuck in there uh, so I mean and, and, and that's really you know it it it, uh, it made me uh, uh, as far as my banjo playing every week I had to do a banjo solo so I I had to practice a lot, and uh, of course, when when you're on the road, you get a lot of time to, to practice. You know, what else do you do? You know, and, <laughs> while you're traveling uh, down the road, you practice. Oh right? yeah, with our vocals and our banjos and and whatever, and uh, it was fun. I I really enjoyed it. All right, well, let's play Frank Yankovic, America's Polka King, with Cleveland, a polka town. <laughs> I'll soon be leaving I'm going to Polka Town It was there I met a girl one evening Now I'm Ohio bound Our wedding bells will ring down in Cleveland That's the place where I intend to settle down And listen to the rhythm of the polka In Cleveland, the Polka Town This is a division of the Yanks, or a little diversion of the Yanks. But anyway, we have two members of Frank Yankovic's Yanks over here. Ronnie Slogan, who always plays uh, my favorite instrument here, the banjo. And I didn't know that uh, Joey could play one. Oh, he's quite talented. Yes, he is. He, he plays just about everything. He doesn't play well, well, but he uh, gets fine. Uh, <laughs> there's really not much animosity between these two fellows. Little Joey here, uh, we have called him the lover boy for some time. I intercepted a letter that came from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, from a faithful viewer wanting to know about your marital status. How about Ron Sluga? So ex-lover and lover boy, what are you going to do for us on the little, banjo? Uh, <laughs> a little uh, medley of uh, Alabama Bound and This Is Your Land and The World Is Waiting for the Sunrise. Okay, okay. take it away, fellas. Thank you. 
memories from 1967 from Polka Varieties that was with Paul 1967. Wilcox? That was 1967. Boy, boy, boy. I'm, I guess I, I, when I'm listening at my, my banjo playing, I think I, I slow down some. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just because you want to hear more of all the technical things that you do? Or do you think uh, no, it's just because you that's, know? that brings back a lot of memories. It was, you know, it, 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 it reminds me that, uh, you know, I've been doing banjo solos uh, since I was 13 years old, and you know, I just I I've never stopped yet, and I'm still I'm still doing them too. <laughs> well, that's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> well, that's something a little bit different that you weren't really. Uh, we caught Ronnie uh, off guard. Uh, I don't think he was ready yeah, for that. That was unex that was un un unexpected, and um, it was kind of a kind they of a nice you surprise. They called Lover Boy back yeah, then. Yeah, they did. They still do. <laughs> they still do. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right, Patty. I hope you're listening. Oh, anyway, we're going to uh, play Johnny Vandal. Is there anything? Uh... Well, you know, I I think uh, since uh, sh- Chicago was my second home, like Joey Miskin would say, Cleveland was his second home. My second home was in in, in sh- sh- Chicago because I was there every every week and uh, brings a, lo- a lot of nice nice memories. And uh, and when I uh, recorded with Johnny uh, v- Vandal. Um, after I, I left Frank Yankovic, of course, I went with with JB, and uh, uh, we recorded in Chicago, and uh, we rec- we uh, recorded a song called uh, Chicago t- Chicago Twirl, is it? Or Chicago, I'm sorry. Like with- Chicago Town. Chicago Town, yeah. Chicago Town. And uh, why don't we do it? <laughs> We just heard a tune called Chicago Town with uh, Johnny Vadnall and yourself, and uh, you wanted to bring up a special waltz, didn't you? Yeah, with with Johnny, I I when I recorded with Johnny on the Alec Capri, um, um, the title of the of the uh, song of the uh, of the album, I did Mandolina, and uh, Mandolina is uh, is an, it's an Italian tune, and then. I wanted to to do that song, the same song on my on my new uh, new album on something s- special, um, but there's a difference between doing it in the in the early '60s and and the two thousand, and we we didn't have any uh, facilities to punch in any mistakes. So we you know we take take one, take two, take three, and if somebody made a mistake, we had to take another take. Now you know when when you make a mistake. Now you just there's no problem. You just take that note out. And so, and uh, I wanted to do that one because I wanted uh, have some remembrance of Johnny Johnny Vandal's band when I was with them. And so I did I did Mandolina for, for, for that uh, for that reason. And uh, and I have of course I have a Walter Astonic doing the accordion instead of Johnny Vandal. That's all. Should we do a Mandolina?
Well, that was Mandolina Waltz, and that was off of his brand new release, Something Special, which is available at polkas.com. So yes, check out is. the World Wide Web. That's right. You also have a website, don't you? It's, uh, that's what I have to do is this, uh, t- uh, <laughs> this punch in Nancy's polkas, uh, dot com. <laughs> no, and then... polkas dot com and we're all set. Um, he's got all of his uh, schedules and he's got his biography. He's got something special up there. And you want to read about Ron Sluga. Not only do you want to hear him tell about his life, but I tell you, there's some things that you just don't get from interviews. You miss some things and not able to get everything in in the time that you're allotted. So we want to thank you again for coming on in. And uh, we listen to a beautiful waltz called Mandolina Waltz. It's my pleasure, Nancy. Thank you. Thanks. So what are we, what are we going to do now? Well, I think we're going to talk about Art Perko. Okay, well, you know, that was the next band that I I had performed with. And uh, uh, I did record with them a couple tunes uh, 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 with the uh, on Walther's albums. Okay. Um, and, uh, of course, you- Roger DeBenedict was with, uh, with Perkel for, I don't know, 30 years, I guess. And... Uh, <laughs> He went. He went west. So I, uh, I joined Art for for a couple of years, and uh, we did a, we did a, uh, what, what what song do we do on? on uh, I'm looking over a four leaf clover. Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm looking over a four leaf clover, and there was an, another one too. I'm not sure which one it was. You are, you my, are sunshine. my sunshine. Yeah. So do we have something? Uh, I'm looking over a four leaf clover. Why don't we do that? Here it is. That row in the lane No need explaining The one remaining Is somebody I adore I'm looking over A four-leaf clover That I overlooked For polka music, visit the Nancy's Place Polka Store. If you have a Visa or MasterCard and access to the internet, you can order some of your favorite polka music, CDs, cassettes, and videos from the comfort of your own home shipped directly to your front door. At the Nancy's Place Polka Store, you can find such artists as Frankie Yankovic, Gaylord Klanschnik, Lynn Marie Rink, Roger Bright, Dick Taddy, Dick Pillar, Crusade, Vernon Steve Meisner, The Casuals, and many more. You can find the Nancy's Place Polka Store at www.polkas.com. And 
And don't forget, you can find something special. Ron Sluga gives you something special at the Nancy's Place Polka Store. So you can purchase that on the World Wide Web at any time. That they is can, true. They can decide to uh, order it at 12 o'clock at night if they want, 2 o'clock at, at, in the morning. It's anytime. amazing, isn't it? It's great. And that's volume one. And that's volume one. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be a volume two There's going to be a volume two. <laughs> <laughs> Who, you, got to, you got to get another set of group of guys to... Uh, play with you and you can well, uh, turn them down and turn not, them up not really I, I, you know I, I did I did about about 30 tunes you know and I want to put 17 on here well that's good you don't want to give yeah. them a, you don't want to give all the tunes well, on I wasn't, one CD you know, I wasn't ready for, for, for 30 but I had a, I had to stop the pro- project because you know it was getting costly <laughs> I imagine that but you know I I uh, I uh, I played with uh, with Gaylord Klanik band um of course, they were ca- called. They once they were called the Klanik uh, Brothers, Brothers. Yeah. and um, now he's uh, he's soloing it. So I got him to come in along with his son, and uh, we did um, Kenny Bass to him, you know, dance this last dance. And of course, I I get to sing too because I call the shots. You know? Yeah, that's right. It's your <laughs> album. This is off of something special available at Nancy's Place. Dance this last dance. And tuli uli dooly doo. I did that I'm glad well. you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were fighting folks before we came on the air just to see who was going to say the name of the tune because we were both worried about messing up Art Wolunus's name and the name of the tune, which I'm not going to try to do again because I'll mess it up. But how come they don't have great lyrics like that anymore? I don't know. I just, but I, I, I have to tell you something, a little, little trivia. Okay. About uh, uh, Art was the first one that. Uh, that, that heaven there is no bear he he uh, translated the words to the English words and of course everybody's doing it now but I have but the, the trivia thing is is the 
after after they sing the first verse, uh-huh. I was the one who put the la la's in there. So if if anybody wants to blame anybody, it's it's me. <laughs> so you're the cause I'm of the, the cause. la la's. La la's, yeah. In in heaven there is no beer. Right. Well, only here at Nancy's place will you find out all kinds of interesting information that you can take <laughs> home with you. That'll be used on Trivial Pursuit one of these years, I'm sure. Well, what do you want to tell me about Eddie Rodick in the orchestra? When did you start playing with him? Eddie Rodick, uh, in, in about in the middle of the 80s, uh, 80, 86, 87, something like that. And um, uh, Eddie uh, was just putting his band together, uh, along with uh, Phil Cernick, Little Eddie, and uh, <laughs> uh, Frank Yaz- Yaznowski. And, uh, of course, they they twisted my arm and... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was with Eddie for about five years, and uh, we we had some nice uh, nice times together. And we of course we came up with "Welcome Back Again," right. the, the album. That was the first premiere party I ever went to, and I think that's where I first saw you guys. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, you were just a little girl then. Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> a little tiny tot. No, I wasn't that young. But yeah, so we we had a, a lot of fun, and of course, uh, uh, the the album uh, "Welcome Back Again." Uh, I had some of my originals on that one too, and of course that's where I went, the first time that I I put um, Patsy's polka on there, and of course uh, Patsy is going to be uh, on my second album, so I, I've, I'm letting the cat out of the bag. All right, but sh- yeah. don't say anything else. No, I won't. You say don't want to say. We just want them to make sure that they're looking for that next <laughs> album and get so, the first one, right? Yeah, right, definitely. Um, <laughs> so let's do a let's do a song from. Uh, Eddie Rodick's uh, Welcome Back Again. I think this is angry. Angry. You're not angry, are you? Oh, no, I'm not angry. Because I took a look at somebody else That's the reason you should put poor me on a shelf Angry, please don't be angry Cause I was only teasing you I took a look at somebody else That's the reason you should put poor me on a shelf Angry, please don't be angry Cause I was only teasing you
Okay, we're back. And um, we're, we're, do, we're doing Poker Love and Gal. Poker Love and Gal. And uh, it's one of my, my favorites. And uh, this, this, al- this, al- this album is uh, really dedicated to uh, Porky uh, Panikvar. And we had a lot of fun. And every time I hear this, we, I think about the good, the good times that we had with uh, Porky. So we'd like to dedicate this to uh, Judy Panikvar. When you're smiling. And when you're smiling, and we're always smiling here at Nancy's place, I do want to thank our sponsors, Jumpstart, Andy Cashin from Cashin Ready Mix and Builder Supply, and Walking Aids for Independence. I do want to thank you, Ronnie, for coming on in and spinning the tunes with us, as well as telling us a little bit about your life. And we try to do as much as we can here at Nancy's Place, and we do appreciate all of your support over the many years, because you have recorded with me as well, haven't you? I have. <laughs> Boy, this hour goes so fast. It doesn't, it, though? Are you playing anywhere? Uh, locally, I'll be at Willowick Festival, and uh, it's called Ron Sluga's Recording Band. So, all come, right, it's uh, it's at the Willowick Festival, July the fifteenth. Are you are you running the uh, boards? No, no, you're not gonna you're not gonna do any of that, huh? No, you're just gonna play. This, yes, it'll be a band. It'll be a band. All right. Me. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Thanks for coming in. And uh, is there anything that you want to tell all of our listeners out there? No, but uh, if anybody wants to uh, purchase my uh, my CD, they could in Cleveland. They could do it. They could p- purchase it from uh, uh, Polka Hall of Fame or polkas dot com. Dot com. And uh, we are going to uh, play a, another one from uh, my something special. This is going to take Yankovic, us out with Frank Yankovic, and I have my grandchildren on here. They're echoing to to Frank in, in the Italian version. So listen, <laughs> listen, this, listen to this. It's great. Take care, folks. Tune in next week. Nancy's place, right here on your favorite channel. Just because you think you're so pretty, just because you think you're so hot, just. Cause you think you've got something that nobody else